Tokyo is 6,393 miles away. Unfortunately, we can't make the trip over for the games because of the pandemic. But you don't have to leave the loo to experience the culture. Here's a sneak peek at just some of the influences right here at home. St. Louis abounds with Japanese culture from the serene to something a bit noisier. It is tranquil, not too far from Tower Grove Park. 14 acres set aside at the Missouri Botanical Gardens for the Japanese garden. Calming, uh, harmonious type garden. Maintaining the grounds takes patience. So everything has to be uh, hand pruned. Jesse Gilberson uses a steady hand in his backyard. So it's very detailed work. Where he shapes his bonsai trees. The hobby relieves stress. Something that, that keeps me sane. There's a young boy in a small town in Illinois with a hobby, the Japanese art of origami. It's kind of fun to see what kind of creativity he has. Emil is self-taught, by the way. The teaching of an ancient Japanese martial art creates vocal expression at Washu. The screaming is the ki, and that's your spirit. Kendo originates from the time of the samurai. Learning to improve yourself through the study of the sword. It's a good thing that they use wooden swords because those strikes are meant to be lethal. <laughs> Judo is also practiced in St. Louis. Anywhere in the world, it's always taught in the Japanese language. But there is more to this martial art than just self-defense. Once we get our hands on you, then we're in an, at an advantage. Judo, for many, is a way of life. I love it, and I think anybody that practices this is fascinated by it. Olympic themed stories. I'll be bringing you every morning right here on Today in St. Louis. And coming up this morning at 5 o'clock, we'll meet the local people competing in Olympic style sports right here in the Bi State area. We have an entire section dedicated to the games right now on KCK.com. That includes links to live events and where to watch our local Olympians. Just text the word Olympics to 314 425 5355 for a link.